Welcome. My name is Dana Abbott, and I will be your guide here at LearnTheSword.com. Cyber Sensei is a new app that allows instructors like myself to be digitally downloaded, remastered, and electronically added to your video, offering you the best quality, most comprehensive long distance training available. All you have to do is observe the training materials and media, practice the prescribed tasks, techniques, and protocol, demonstrate those learned techniques, and upload them to Learn the Sword. Your reviewed, critiqued, and corrected video will look similar to this. After you execute the cut, I want you to make sure that the tip of the sword doesn't go below your knee. If it does go below your knee, you create lots of openings. Your stance looks good, although you should take a couple points in consideration. For example, if you look at your head, it's a little tilted off. Make sure that your head moves more towards your right shoulder. Then looking at your shoulders, you can see that your shoulders aren't full enough. They could be a little fuller. So I want you to take your chest and push it out a little bit more. Now if you look down at your legs and your feet, you can see that your stance is good, but your feet are positioned a little off. I'd like them to be a little wider. Your chibuti looks smooth. Although, when you do finish your chibuti process, I want you to make sure that the sword is positioned over on the right side of your foot instead of more towards the center of your body. So all you need to do is adjust your sword a little bit over to the right there. When you sheathe the sword, your left hand and your right hand are out of sync a tad, and your left hand is fumbling when it grabs the saya or the sheath. What I'd like you to do is slow it down a little bit, readjust, and get the correct timing and tempo. When sheathing the sword, I also want you to note that when you sheath it, your hand has a tendency to come over here on the side a little bit more when you're putting away the sword like this. What I'd like you to do is, when you do sheath the sword, I want you to take your hand and bring it out in front a little bit more and then bring it in from there. Upon completion of Kata 4, and when you return to your V stance, your stance demeanor could be a little stronger. I want you to take your chest and push it out a little bit more. I want your heels turned over at the side. And then if you look at your hand, it's a little farther over here to your right. I want you to bring your hand and the sheath more over to your left side. So later when you redraw it, your hand naturally goes to the center instead of over this way, creating an opening and weak spot. I would like you to adjust and practice these corrections until your rote memory sets in, your demeanor and your technique become stronger. Until the next time, thank you and have a great day.